Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video 20 if you're having a hand aid use on. If you guys have a hand aid use on, you have check engine light on and called P0088. Stay with us, we'll explain what most likely causes that and how to fix it. We're going to cover that today. So, uh, it should work on multiple generation engines and years of hand aid use on and uh, we will definitely be helpful on the direct fuel injection engine, but even if you don't have direct fuel injection, we'll explain what to expect as well. So let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why? Simply because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. That way we can keep providing this free information to you. Another thing guys, if you need to buy parts, tools for a really good price and quick shipping as well, check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our supplies from. So. This right here is the engine that we'll be demonstrating on. This is a 2.4 GDI engine. Uh, this is, uh, guys, okay, a device that many of you have requested information about. Many of you asked us in the comment section what diagnostic we recommend and we'll share that information with you. We'll put the link in the description of the video below if you want to check the current price and features. But it's a tool that works on all systems and on almost every car you can think of. So definitely a great investment that can pay itself off in one-time use. With that being said, what code P0088 means? It means that you have high fuel pressure, guys. Okay, and uh, on the direct fuel injection engine, when you remove the intake manifold, we have the videos, all these videos on our channel, how to remove intake manifold or fuel injector, fuel rail. You will have that sensor that is known as a fuel rail pressure sensor. It detects, okay, how much fuel pressure you have here and uh, it needs to keep it at certain pressure okay let's say 400 psi and it's going to send that information to the engine computer okay and the engine computer will uh, determine okay how much fuel to send from the high pressure fuel pump through the volume sensor so everything is connected and if you have high pressure fuel uh, code guys okay high, high pressure fuel code such as p088 there are a few things that can easily go wrong. One is the high pressure fuel pump is malfunctioning. Two, that volume sensor on the high pressure pump, which is part of it, is malfunctioning. Make sure that everything's connected and plugged in. Number three, it could be a bad fuel rail pressure sensor that detects that one as well. Uh, because if it's not reading correctly, you can uh, you can uh, actually get these codes as well. Those are the most common things that we see here at the shop. If you have any questions, let us know. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.